What's up, what's up, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the Tourette's Trucker. This is Tourette's Trucker. Duh. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, appreciate you stopping by. If you're already subscribed, appreciate you coming back. Be sure y'all hit the like button, subscribe button, hit the bell notification. You know the deal. It's all the same BS. You know, you see in everybody's video. Why not do it for my video like you do theirs? Hey, you know, hey. We appreciate you coming on back. Today we're going to get some of the exploits about what I've been going through for the last almost month now, I guess, or maybe a little over, actually, over a month now, actually, almost almost a month and a half. Anyway, stay tuned, I'll be right back. Everybody, I'm back. Anyway, I know y'all haven't seen me in quite a while. I've been out of the loop, been home working on projects here since I guess September 12th, September 15th. I've been home. Um, haven't gone to work. Probably the reason why I haven't gone to work is because I don't have a job right now. Anyway, had an issue at work with a wreck happening in Virginia on I-81 in the mountains. There were a total of five wrecks. I was one of the five wrecks. Of course, all of us that were involved in the wrecks, of course, we all get hit with falling too close. Um, so, of course, that's a, with a lot of insurance companies, that's a automatic gets canned. So my employer contractor was forced to terminate my contract with them because of the accident. I am actually going to fight that um, in court. If any of y'all have ever had that experience that you've actually felt fought a falling too close ticket, if you ever had any luck or what attorneys anybody say, if y'all have any of that evidence or any suggestions on what the outcomes that y'all have had, if you ever had that happen, hey, please leave some comments. I definitely appreciate that. Uh, let me know what y'all experience y'all have had with it. And if you had any luck getting it downgraded to something different or even had it not show up on your license, um, if they can actually get that removed, if a judge is actually willing to do that, if nobody shows up to court, any of that. So of course, you know, I was falling too close to what it hit me for. Even though I was actually like four truck tractor trailer links behind, with a loaded tanker, I just couldn't stop on the wet road in time on the interstate when everybody just locked it up and stopped. Also, the driver didn't have a valid driver's license. Not sure if he was illegal. I'm not going to go any further than that. I'm just going to say, not sure if he was illegal, but he had no valid driver's license. That's all I'm going to say on that issue. That was the driver of the other vehicle, which I actually clipped the back trailer of an enclosed trailer they were pulling. Kind of like a construction trailer or a landscape trailer, whatever. So it flattened both both tires because it was a single tire double axle trailer with one tire on each one so it flattened both tires and kind of peeled the little fender um did three thousand dollars worth of damage of that because they had to be towed since they didn't have two spares so it had to be towed out um the trailer did not the vehicle but the trailer um so anyway yeah if y'all had any luck on that send me some 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 comments on that anyway my wife finally got me out of the house a couple times since i've been home I probably only been out of this house maybe four or five times since I've been home. I generally don't like to leave the house much. I'm a homebody. I like my safety safe. Um, some people may be able to relate to that. Um, anyway, I don't know if it's part of my things. I've got issues with Tourette's, ADHD, and some other underlying issues. Um, anyway, I'm just going to put a little couple of the videos of the things where we went out. You know, one day I think y'all have already seen like an Ulta and then there's another one back to Ulta again. Well, be surprised. There's another video. Guess where that was probably going. <laughs> Stay tuned and you're going to see it. <laughs> uh oh, her got busted on our, our first outing. Him daddy's been, been locked in the house for a week. Some of 
of us Tourette's people with other issues, we don't like to leave the house. We have issues. So, Game Mommy doesn't like to be on film, does her? Jamie, like, he don't give a, give a rat's butt. But, yeah. They finally talked me into going out. Guess where we're going? Ulta again. <laughs> <laughs> Ulta again. For your stuff. <laughs> but granted, it is for me. She needs something for my face. Gotta try to keep that young glow, you know. That young glow. Peace out, y'all. y'all she just got out the car but guess what we didn't make it to Ulta we had to stop here you've arrived destination is on your right I don't know if it was a Ross or whatever but she's like let me off right here first I believe turn right it was a Ross so then turn right we just had to turn right off in. Oh, then turn left gotta love the GPS it's like come on you didn't make it there you didn't turn stop left there stop. then turn right <laughs> But yeah, I believe it was a Ross that we let her out from just before we got there. So we're having to circle back around and find a parking spot now. And Turn right. It was a Marshalls. And but it was a Marshalls. Yep, so once again, we're sitting here while she's inside. We didn't make it to the Ulta, which is right there. Right next to the So we made it to Marshalls. This is what the women do. You gotta love it. But it's all good. We're here. We're out. I haven't been out of the house since Tuesday the 5th. 5th or whenever it was or 6th. So I haven't been out of the house in literally over 7 days. So the wife determined to get me out so I let her talk in to get me out so we're chilling we're out we're trying to endure the man thing you know happy wife happy life <laughs> we still stand by that happy wife happy life if your woman ain't happy you ain't happy and if she ain't happy long enough you gonna be unhappy with half your stuff so we keep the women happy y'all we do what we do because that's what men do that's what heroes do we keep them happy y'all peace out and we're all doing the family Ulta thing. <laughs> and since we have to wear a mask in Ulta, I've got my Trump mask. Never leave home without it. Right. My baby's got her Blue Lives Matter mask. Mm -hmm. Jamie's got a, a I don't, I don't give a f mask. <laughs> <laughs> He's fierce. <laughs> but either way, you know the family that loves together stays together. So we're gonna come on here in Ulta and we're gonna do the shopping thing, y'all. We'll be right back. He says, baby got jokes and you cannot lie. You other mother can't deny. Of course, my baby gave a hint of something that she likes here, so I need to put that on my Christmas list. Hmm. Giorgio Armani. That is a... It actually smells really good, y'all. Um, so, yeah, we do a lot of perfume I can't count how many of these perfumes that she has in here but yeah that one smells really good y'all so remember that one some more good ones that are good are all the Dior line um, my wifey has all the Dior line <laughs> we have the Jador we have the, the Joy we have that one 
One of her favorite is actually the Dior Attic, which I do not see the Dior right. Attic here. the data on the discrimination within the system that you know we familiarize ourselves with the arguments the parties make and the information that they put in the record and in some cases um, I have had parties submit or it's submitted in the district court technically and then made part of the record and, and so I just want to be clear do you believe that there is in fact implicit racial bias in the criminal justice system well it's just a yes or no question do you believe in fact, that there is implicit racial bias in the criminal justice system. Senator, it would be hard to imagine a system, a criminal justice system as big as ours, not having any implicit bias in it. So was that a yes? Senator, yes, I think that in our large criminal justice system, it... Bam. Finally getting us some footage in our stomach. This is where we are, y'all. We're in Red Lobster and it is dead. <laughs> dead as dead can be. Well, me and the fam just had us some dinner. Of course, what an interesting table side debate, I guess, on social media while we try to eat. <laughs> but anyway, we are at our next place. Of course, the wifey wants to go to Walmart. And the vision to make our country a more equal place and a more just place. And actually, I know the wifey, so I know where she's going to want to go next. It's right over in the area over there. Body and health care and reproductive choices. The Constitution of the United States protects a woman's right to choose. Here she comes. Uh oh, where's that sexiness? <laughs> well, I know that sexy one going. Come on, get in there, girl. Come with your bad self. She's like, I ain't having it, so. I bet, I bet we hit that other place I just showed y'all. I bet that'll be the next place to go, y'all. We'll find out a little bit. Tell her, Trudy. Peace out. Peace. I was wrong, y'all. It's not the TJ Maxx. This is closer. To determine who fills the seat of Ruth Bader Ginsburg, a champion for women's rights. And then yep, we're here, back in here chilling again, listening to this darn crazy Kamala Harris bashes Amy Coney Barrett. We're getting frustrated. These crazy liberals out here are silly bashing because they are so afraid that she's going to immediately jump on a court and just overturn Roe versus Wade because they're terrified that she's going to say, hey, you know what? Just because I'm Catholic, I'm going to make it legal to or illegal to murder babies. That ought to be a kind of self-explanatory moral thing. They keep saying women's reproductive health care. Women's reproductive health care. It's a woman's body. A woman has a right to choose whether she wants to kill that baby. But I'm sorry. Once the baby has a heartbeat inside that woman, that's the baby's body you're killing, not the woman's body. So we're sitting in a car while... Little Miss Catherine is inside Ross dressed for less. 
and we're listening to this crazy freaking Kamala Harris. Yep. Ready to. Just want to reach through the radio and strangle this lady. She's an idiot. Ain't that right? Yep. He agrees. You got that right. He agrees. He knows enough. Crazy. You don't just go murder babies. Why do you want to murder babies? But they want to murder babies. So this is what we do. Catherine goes there. Sometimes I go in with her. Sometimes I don't. Most of the times we just sit out here and we listen to politics like this. We sing, listen to what's going on in the world because yep. but we like the old man in pure country. You know, he asked George Strait a question. George Strait, well, yeah, I guess I see what you're saying. He's like, you guess, you got to know. So people, you got to know. Hey y'all, you know what you do? It's that button though. Butt, this ain't that butt, though. Of course, we're in Ross. <laughs> <laughs>